So let us see the mismatch repair system in the human beings. So uh, Paul Modric and uh, co-workers have reconstituted the human mismatch repair system in vitro. A strand break on either side of the mismatch is sufficient to start this repair. So if uh, a mismatch is uh, uh, in the DNA and uh, 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 only a small break on either side of the mismatch is present, the mismatch repair system will start. Purified human mutes alpha, mutel alpha, exo-1. Exo-1 is a 5' prime to 3' prime exonuclease, RPA, PCNA, RFC and DNA polymerase, delta, are required for bidirectional repair. So, uh, uh, you see, a lot of enzymes and uh, protein factors are required uh, in human beings for this mismatch repair. Uh, and these include uh, some enzymes as well as some protein factors. Mutes alpha, exo-1 and RPA are adequate to excise a mismatch when the nick is on the 5 prime side of the mismatch. So th these three uh, uh, are required when the nick is on the 5 prime side of the mismatch. So th this is, uh, uh, you can uh, see this is a strand and uh, here in the center if the mismatch is here uh, and nick is on the 5 prime side then these three that is mutes alpha exo-1 and RPA are required, while mute L-alpha, PCNA and RFC are also required when the nick is on the 3' prime side of the mismatch. So, uh, uh, in addition to above 3 uh, factors, uh, these 3 more factors are required when this nick is on the 3' prime side of the mismatch. The observation that the mismatch repair system can degrade newly synthesized strands with a nick on the three prime side of the mismatch was very puzzling because the exo one degrades DNA in a five prime to three prime direction. So uh, it starts degradation from five prime to three direction. But when the nick is present on the three prime direction, how uh, this enzyme will uh, degrade uh, from 3 prime to 5 prime so this was a, a, a very puzzling uh, modric and uh, co-workers solved the puzzle by demonstrating that mute l alpha is a latent endonuclease that is activated in a mismatch once activated this mutel alpha preferentially makes incisions in the strand that already has a nick, that is the discontinuous strand during replication. So, you know, during replication, this discontinuous strand is a newly synthesized strand, and uh, obviously, this strand uh, would have uh, a nick. So, uh, this, uh, uh, this mutes alpha will make an incision. In this uh, strand. The endonuclease activity appears to require an amino acid motif present in the PMS2 but not the MLH subunit. So it, it doesn't require MLH1 unit subunit rather it requires a, an amino acid motif. In the human mismatch repair pathway mute S alpha PCNA and RFC, they uh, cooperate to activate the mutant mutel alpha endonuclease, which was uh, uh, latent endonuclease. This mutel alpha endonuclease then nicks the discontinuous strand of the DNA duplex on both the 5' prime side and 3' prime sides of the mismatch. So once it is activated, it introduced two uh, nicks on both sides, that is 5 prime and 3 prime of the mismatch. When the original nick is on the 3 prime side of the mismatch, 
mutal alpha incision produce a new 5 prime terminus on the far side of the mismatch that can serve as an entry site for mute as alpha activated exo 1 so if the initial nick is on the 3 prime side a new nick is introduced on the far side of the strand that is on the 5 prime side this activated exo 1 then removes the mismatch using its 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity so this uh, uh, this mismatch is then removed by hydro hydrolyzing the uh, this uh, uh, discontinuous strand rpa stimulates exo1 activity in the presence of mute s alpha as long as long as the mismatch is present so if the mismatch is present this rpa stimulates the activity of exo1 then exo1 uh, start uh, uh, hydrolyzing this strand once the mismatch has been removed rpa inhibits the exonuclease so when this mismatch is removed this exonuclease uh, is uh, uh, inactivated probably by uh, displacing exo1 from the dna so exo1 uh, is displaced from the dna so in this way uh, this rpa inhibits the exonuclease so here in this uh, picture you can see these two sides these two pictures and this picture demonstrates the five prime directed nick repair and this uh, picture describes the uh, when the nick is on the three prime side so here you can see this is uh, mute s alpha and this is mute l alpha and this is rfc and pcna so this nick is present on the five prime side of mismatch actually mismatch is here mismatch is here so the nick is on five prime side so this is new nick on the three prime side and then in the presence of mute s alpha mute l alpha exo1 and rpa this strand which was present here and which contained the mismatch this has been hydrolyzed similarly here you can see this is a three prime directed mismatch repair so mismatch is present here and a nick is present on the three prime side here so in this way a new nick is introduced on the five prime side and then this is hydrolyzed from 5 prime to 3 prime direction in the presence of mute s alpha mute l alpha exo1 and rpa so both these reactions this reaction and this reaction similarly here this reaction and this reaction these are coupled with the production of energy from atp hydrolysis so this is a brief of the human mismatch repair system so individuals with a non functional mismatch repair system due to defective mute s alpha or mute l alpha suffer from non polyposis colon cancer hn pcc human non polyposis colon cancer and autosomal recessive syndrome so this this will happen if mute s alpha or mute l alpha are non-functional in the human beings